Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we were starting to work on our set first name function on our user class. We did some sanitization on the first name and now the next step we wanted to do was set up some validation. Uh, we were wanting to install a new package for this. So let's jump in straight away and get started with that. In the, the root of our server project, we're going to say npm install. And then we're going to reference this package called validate.js and we'll do a dash dash save and hit enter and that's going to do its thing uh, once it's installed you'll see we have validate.js in our package.json and that's looking good we're going to import this into our file we're going to say validate equals uh, require and then we'll just reference the package which is validate.js and you can go and read the documentation on validate JS, but basically what it's got a whole lot of convenience methods for us to send an input in and we'll be able to to run some validation for us and return um, some error messages and that kind of thing so if you do call this validate the reference that we've made at the top of our file here you'll see there's this method here for a single and then you'll see that this takes in a value and a set of constraints and then it's going to return whether that's true or false so before we do that, we need to set up some of these constraints. What I'm going to do now is uh, create a new constraints folder in our library. So we'll say new file in lib, we'll call it constraints. All right. And I'm just going to create a, an object that I can export. We'll do a module.exports. Cool. And the first function I want to have on here is one that we're going to call name. This name function is going to return a set of constraints that relate to any name that we want to use throughout our library. To set up these constraints, the first thing is I'm going to want to set up a regex and we'll just open up a set of um, quotes here. Okay, so to get started, we're going to open up open and close square brackets. And then in here, we're going to have a backslash and then dash uh, backslash and then a single quote, and then we'll have A to capital Z, and then A, or lowercase A rather, to lowercase um, Z, we'll have zero to nine, and we'll allow spaces, and then we'll just add this plus sign to the end. Like I said, regexes are not my favorite thing in the world, but uh, that is going to allow us to check for, we want capital letters, lowercase letters, uh, we will allow numbers, as well as a space or, or a white space in this case. All right, so now we can set up a variable called constraints, and this is going to be an object. And we're going to have the first key here, which is called presence. And then we'll have an object here we'll, where we'll say allow empty, and then we'll set that to false. So this is basically saying that this is required, so it can't be an empty object. The next key that we'll have here is type. We will just say we want this to be of type string. And then the last key that we want to put in here is format. And then this will be a, another object. And then we will say the pattern of this format is the regex that we've set up before. And then we'll set a flags key here and we'll just say lowercase i. And then this last key here, message is what will return from the function if it doesn't actually match these constraints. And then in here, we'll say name must match the following pattern. And then we will just add on that regex and then we will be good to go there. Now that we have those constraints set up, we can reference it in our user class. So at the top of our file, let's go on and import that. We'll say, constant constraints equals require and then we'll just go to our library folder import our constraints and now we will have access to it here now that we we have this constraints we can as you will remember this single function takes in a value and so the the value will be first name and then it takes in constraints and we'll reference the constraints that we've imported and then we'll call the name function. This is going to return a value if, the, or it's going to return that message if it doesn't match any of those constraints. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to declare 
uh, or we're going to assign the output of the validate.single function to this uh, variable that we've called here message. And then what we can do is we can do a conditional check and we can say if there is a message, and in this case it's going to be that string saying that the constraints don't match, then we will return that message. Otherwise, if there is no message, that means that the validation has passed. And then what we can do is at long last, we, we know that the string has been sanitized and it has been validated. And then we'll say uh, this dot name dot first is equal to first name. And then once we've assigned that value, then we can just return and we should be good and everything is done here. So there was a little bit of work to, to get a simple function set up, but uh, maybe you've learned something here a little bit helpful, a little way to do some sanitization and validation on some of the values that you, you're assigning to this class. So let's take a short break here. In the next lesson, we will do the set last name, email and password, and then we will take it from there. So well done on making it this far. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.